Hey guys, my name is Al, and I'm the creator of this line of actively changing marquees called Pixelcade. And the idea of Pixelcade is that the marquee will change automatically when you select a different game. Um, Pixelcade in integrates with many front ends. This happens to be Hyperspin, but CoinOps, Big Box, the uh, common front ends are supported. I originally did Pixelcade actually for myself. I just did it on my own builds and um, did a couple posts. A lot of people liked it, got a lot of positive feedback. So I ended up turning it into a product. Just thought I'd share it with you guys in case there's any interest in any of your builds, um, any feedback, that would be awesome. Um, this is the LCD version of Pixelcade. I'll show you the LED version in a second. The LED version is a little different look, more 8-bit um, retro look than this high res. Um, LCD Pixelcade is a little different in the sense of it doesn't actually connect over a secondary HDMI. So it connects over your network. So every Pixelcade comes with an embedded single board computer, looks like this, and that allows us to do few things which I think make Pixelcade a little unique versus some other um, solutions out there. So one of them, one of the features is that you can control Pixelcade also, not only from your front end, but also from an iPhone. So there's a Pixelcade app that if you go out to the Apple App Store and you can just browse the artwork here. And as you guys know, there's a lot of games artwork out there and just very easily browse that from your phone, which is kind of a nice feature. So that's one thing that makes it unique. Um, this board has some general IO pins, so we can use that to interface some additional hardware. So that's what this is. So this is an optional um, add-on called Pixelcade Dot. It's basically just a scrolling dot matrix display. This can display um, game titles, but also it can display high scores, which is, um, I think, a, a quite, kind of nice feature. So as you guys know, many main games can display high scores. And so if that game supports high scores, Pixelcade can display this. So that's another feature. This installation actually has both the LCD, I'm just gonna go behind the camera here and zoom out a little bit. Okay, so you see on the top, this actually has both the LCD and the lower resolution LED. So some people actually wanted both those as part of their install. Um, and then this LED is mounted as a topper here. Some people opt to mount it as the base plate. So if you look down there, see there's a there's another display on the base plate. You can mount it either either place of your choice. And then here's the LED version, which I call Pixelcade LED. So I'm just gonna I'm gonna cheat here. I'm just gonna change it for my keyboard so I don't block your view. But as you can see, as I change them, you can see these this artwork. This is all original artwork that was remastered in 8-bit style, so literally going into Photoshop one pixel at a time, making sure the artwork looks clean. Um, I did most of it, and then lately some people in the community have, have pitched in, so got some good good folks working on artwork now. Um, most of the, the key games are covered. And then some of the games have these animations, like this. Uh, let's see if we can find a few more with animations. Um, and then, people actually really like these animations, so one feature request I got was to be able to show multiple animations per game. Okay, so it's now randomly going to show a different animation. So you can have up to three animations per game, and then it'll just randomly pick one of the three. That's another feature. Um, one feature I'm really like is the high scores. So some main games have the ability to do high scores. And for those certain main games, the high score will actually scroll on Pixelcade, like you see here. So that is quite nice. It's also configurable, so I've got it set up to scroll three high scores. You can have it scroll 10, just one. That's configurable. Um, Pixelcade, and I'll show you the sizes. So, one other nice thing about the, the LED, you know, it's, it's more cost effective. In my opinion, it's definitely a better value. Um, some people just have to have the high resolution LCD, which I totally get. But if you're cool with the 8-bit retro look, which, which I like, I think it goes well, really well with the classic arcades, then the LED is definitely the better value. 
Um, so it's got multiple sizes. So these are what the panels look like. And so this is basically two of these daisy chained together. That's what I call the P3 size. Um, if you're into pinball, um, Pixelcade actually works as a DMD as well. I'll show you that feature in a second. But uh, here's the DMD size. And then this is what's called a P4. This is one size up, P5. And then this is the largest size, P6. So imagine two of these daisy chained together. So what I do is I basically do custom mounts to make it easier for you to install. So um, I've tried to do most of the popular cabinets, like Rec Room is actually the biggest, most that I was doing. Unfortunately, they just went out of business, which is a big bummer. But this actually was the mount for Rec Room here. And this one, I think, I forget actually which cabinet this is for, but just to show you how it works. So I basically have these laser cut, um, you know, the LED panels have the holes on the back. So you can see here, everything is mounted very clean with laser cut, so it's very precise. And then depending on your cab, um, you either mount this, you can do a flush mount, or what I call a protruding mount. This is a flush mount design. See, there's the Pixel K controller board on the back that's controlling the panels. So that makes it super easy for you to mount in your cab. But let me show you the DMD feature I was talking about. So I think a really another compelling thing about Pixelcade is it works as a pinball DMD. So this is Visual Effects FX3 um, Steam version, and I'm just gonna play. I'm gonna cheat and play from the keyboard here, so I don't block your view. But you can see as I'm playing pinball, Pixelcade is now turned into a pinball DMD, which is uh, pretty nice, I think. And then over time, I just sort of add features to Pixelcade based on the feedback from the community. And one thing that I added, let me get out of this, was a news ticker. So the feedback was, you know, hey, when I'm not playing my arcade, could I show news? So I added this thing called the Pixelcade ticker. Okay. And it basically displays news on in standard RSS feeds. So RSS stands for, I think, really simple syndication. And they're just basically new feeds, news feeds. So you can have a sports feed, um, you know, CNET news feed, you know, whatever, whatever kind of feed that you like. So let me go ahead and start this. You can have up to five feeds. And then as you, um, again, this will just run as, as your machine's idle. So this is kind of a, a fun way to still take advantage of Pixelcade and show some, show some stuff while it's not in use. So let's see, any other, oh yeah. So some of you may be aware of Mr. So it's just a Mr. Case. One of my friends actually designed this. Um, over time, I've been adding support to different front ends. So, you know, started with Hyperspin. But again, Hyperspin is a major pain in the butt. So I don't recommend that for anybody. Um, I have a lot of folks on CoinOps. So let me just launch CoinOps here. And, and you'll notice I added this feature as well in the software. Once I launch a front end, it'll kill the news ticker automatically. So you don't have to kill it manually. So this is CoinOps. Um, if you happen to be doing Raspberry Pi, Raspberry Pi is supported with RetroPi, and then a lot of people on Big Box actually. So let's launch Big Box. So here's Big Box. While that's loading, um, just the thing on Mister. Uh, if you guys aren't familiar, so Mister, it's interesting in the sense of you know PC stuff is all emulated. And so when you're playing the game, it's emulated, you might have some delays, although I think with the older games, it's, it's really negligible. But if you're really a purist and you want to play the game as it was really intended on the original hardware, that's what Mr. does for you. It basically takes the game, programs it into the field programmable gate arrays actually in the hardware. So it's a, the most accurate gaming experience you can get. So we just added support for Mr. 
So that's another um, another one you can do with with Pixelcade. And then lastly, I'll just show you here. So if you go to my website, which is pixelcade.org, um, I'll just put a link to it in the video. But basically, there's a, there's an open source API. And so API, application programming interface, so that basically means that for third-party developers that want to add additional functionality, you can do that with the API. That's actually how I wrote the news ticker. That just take, takes advantage and makes calls to that API. So that's just an overview of Pixelcade. Um, I hope that was helpful. And if you guys see value or have any questions, please drop a comment. Thanks a lot.